damn fool. You know you can have it all. How you are? Sheree, Sheree, where you at, Sheree? behind you. And if you can, call them cars. Okay, I got the key. Lord have mercy. dedicate this song to each and every one of you we have out here to this evening. This goes out to all other women from all other men. I turn around and make it vice versa to all other men. Hey baby! Got to be some changes made. <laughs> Ow! Hey, baby. Yeah. It got to be some changes made. <laughs> Your place. I've been always around this world, baby. And I found another major to take your place. What's that, Steve?
Escalade, white Escalade. You got five minutes to move it. Or they gonna have it towed. White that. No! The healer! The healer On a Sunday morning, I go out to the corner of the little Baptist Church, and I knew down and drained. I'm from Alabama, so you know what I said. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy on Johnny. Y'all don't need no one, I do. Welcome to another edition of Motor Capital. This is the St. Auburn Street Blues Festival. Actually, John's Carpet House. Oh, we're going to get some gospel singing here. This is awesome, too. They have blues there, but I stopped at Frederick and Shane. The Blues Festival is down that away. You can see the crowd every Sunday. But here, here we go. this a community garden and art is everywhere this is interesting recovery park farms so they're trying to help people back and so signs and flowers yeah, I'm on a big flower kick these days, and I think it's just the bright colors that I enjoy. Here, Pure Michigan, so they're part of this whole gig. 
Uh, they're covered, the plants here. This is kind of neat what they're doing, having the garden thing. But that lousy waste incinerator plant is just like a stone's throw away. And uh, that's something the city's going to have to deal with. Uh, but the Blues Festival, man, they draw a crowd. I really enjoy that. I really do. Here's uh, another urban garden. Now I'm going to check where uh, RoboCop is going to uh, be made whole or whatnot. 13401. Here they had an article. Venus Bronze Works. So that's where I'm at. This is where RoboCop is being put together. It's being tinkered with. But when it's all said and done and RoboCop is good and ready, uh, he's going to go to the Michigan Science Center. That will be a big to-do when that finally gets unveiled. Because I think RoboCop can do a pretty good job of patrolling the city, keeping Detroit safe, making sure like no one gets out of hand. Uh, like me. Uh, but I was in the neighborhood, so this is the original Buddy's Pizza. Right here at McNichols and Conant. I got the uh, the four slice jobby do. And uh, gonna make it home and chow down. Oh, yeah. Well, the, you know what? I gotta change tapes. So, blue screen. You know the routine. I got to pop one out, put another one in. It's going to start with the lunar eclipse, which we didn't see, but it produced a red moon. But ABC News did get it, so let's listen in. Okay, tape is in, and here we go. And finally tonight here, we all remember the great American eclipse that was almost one year ago now. And tonight, a spectacular event seen around the world, the longest total lunar eclipse of the century. ABC's Matt Gutman tonight. Matt, you and I were on the air almost a year ago for that great American eclipse. That was really something, but you're taking in quite a sight in Hong Kong. Yeah, that was a treat, but this has been an hour and 40 minutes long of a celestial, spectacular treat, and these diehards behind me have been here for every single minute of it. You know, it's called the blood moon because it happens when the sun, the earth, and the moon perfectly align, and the rays of the sun curve around the earth and it's only the red rays that go through the atmosphere and actually hit the moon and that's what we've been seeing in these spectacular images from across the globe in berlin at the coliseum in rome it has been a beautiful sight to behold unfortunately back home in the u.s we did not get to see the full glory of this eclipse but rest assured january 21st 2019 just a few months away we'll get our next shot at a lunar eclipse david Put it on the calendar, Matt Gutman from Hong Kong tonight. Matt, thank you, and thank you for watching. Hell yeah, mark the calendar. What was it, January 19th? Oh. Hang on, hang on. With the whole part, I'm not going to mess with you. Don't mess with me. Yes, what a great bartender. I should have gotten her name and phone number, but uh, yeah. I didn't want to mess with her, to be honest. But I was in the neighborhood here. I, look at this. This would make a great Halloween costume. This burglar dude. The dude with the black hat. And all you have to do is come up with a cape, but come up with that hat. Maybe go in black face paint or something like that. But that is, would make a great Halloween costume. And fairly reasonable. It wouldn't, it wouldn't break the budget. Yeah, so I'm in um, Southgate Lincoln Park, right at the border. And we're going to check out some uh, RVs. But you can get here by bus, and they pass the millage. So that's a good thing. Uh, not everybody uses public transportation, but... Then again, not everybody uses the library. 
nobody has to use the police or the fire at any given time but it's good to know that it's there if needed I wish public transit would be viewed in that way just like every other civic thing that we expect you know schools and the like roads uh, here's a special here well e-course down here it might be considered a river where I'm at in Dearborn Heights it's a creek but e-course creek and this is like the dividing line between Southgate and Lincoln Park and this was built 1958 interesting okay across the street and looking at this motor home it's for sale a lot of people like these things to travel with but then I've been here before but it's now it's for sale it's turnkey too those are key words you like to hear and the gas prices at this time back on August 3rd yeah, I just have a few minutes of this uh, and then we'll switch gears dilly dilly then a car wash and I had a dollar in quarters but it was a buck yeah buck 75 but uh, I went I had a change tray so I'll have enough this is the trailer park so this is right across the street from the bar so yeah treat the bartenders very nicely and tip well And they have a moved-in special. And this is on Dix. In Oakdale. Focus on urban planning so it can be done anywhere. Anywhere you go. But I like to focus there on Michigan. Alright, well, there I got a few more quarters. Just got to feed the machine here. And then the spray won't really be activated until you pull the trigger. Oh, my evil twin was loving this. All right, it's a beauty. It looks all white again. Cool. Slippery when wet. Where have I heard that before? All right. This is just heading down the street. Oh, switching gears here now. Look at the cranes. They're going to have a wind tunnel over here, or so I'm told. But I came here, I wanted to do this to check the big tire out from the backside. And there it is. Enterprise Drive and I'm in the city of Allen Park so yeah just head north and I kind of made a circle there it's kind of a flat tire kind of thing but it's right there right off of I-94 so my thinking is boy you could have a welcome center a rest area a photo walk place or whatever where people can take selfies with the big tire oh yeah but yeah it's it's an entrance point right before you get to Detroit people might want to stop pick up a map get directions talk to somebody about where this that or the other is and then you can take a picture of the tire and get the lowdown 
right now people just buzz by on I-94. It's certainly not convenient at all. And they don't want you coming around from the backside either. But what to do? And they have this protected, so they got that going on. But it was a Ferris wheel, and it was in the World's Fair, I believe it was 1964, uh, in New York City. And, boy, if there's enough room, and I was just concerned with the room here, if there's enough for parking in the exit and entrance ramps, if, it, if it's doable. And, of course, it costs money. And, you know, we, we have a lot of roads to fix, so redoing something like this is not a priority. But when we're flush with cash and don't know what to do with it, we could say, hmm, you know, next time we resurface I-94 or have a major rebuild, we could um, include an exit and entrance ramp onto the freeway here and make this a, a rest stop a welcome center place to uh, get concessions a cup of coffee snacks whatever it is just something to think about it's all that urban planning aspect and detroit not really considered a place for people to visit or like vacation uh, but we should give ourselves a little more credit and say, yeah, you know, at least for a weekend trip, we can keep you occupied. Um, but yeah, there's, uh, there's enough t to see and do. Uh, and some people around the country have discovered that and have made good comments about Detroit and it's kind of revival. Uh, but you know, for a lot of people, the secret is still out there. Well, there's the big tire hiding behind there, but I'm looking for room here for the parking, and it's kind of like a wetlands preserve area, certainly. And, uh, yeah, this is the Ecorse Creek or River, but there's a little wood bridge here. So, yeah... You have uh, wetland uh, conditions, too, that uh, influence what can, can and can't be done. So be cool to each other. All right, well, Baker College, this is where we'd have to look for an entrance ramp. And they have their uh, college there in a parking lot. And Outer Drive is up there, but there's not an exit at Outer Drive. There's an entrance ramp. It's doable, but, you know, an architect and a road planner would have to figure all that out. But here is our wetland conservation area. And I'm still on that flower kick. I like the colors. It's, it would be the same thing if I saw a tropical fish. I'd be fascinated just from the, the bright colors. Okay. And then that would be your entrance ramp to I-94. We got the power lines and we got the rail lines. So the rail lines aren't really movable. So that's certainly a set piece. But this is part of one of the rails that has the horseshoes which is kind of neat back when they were electric trains but trains will still run along this track and kind of gives you that tunnel vision kind of thing here's an old railroad spike then you look for the date USA was made but okay Tanawanda here 1950 and there is some decay so yeah and well this stretch here 2008 and art is everywhere I kid you not even in like man-made stuff it doesn't have to be 
nature kind of thing. All right, so it'd have to be in all this area. With, there's a lot of green space now, but the tracks and these power lines certainly are immovable objects. So then I, a heated switch, apparently. And this stretch 2005. Yeah, we have a, a welcome center when you come up I-75 from Ohio. It's like uh, Interchange 9 or Mile Marker 9. And that seems to work well. But we could have one right off of I-94. Here's where the wind tunnel is supposed to be for Ford. So a lot of cranes. They had the heavy artillery. Uh, Holiday Inn Express is fairly new. Hampton. So there I got it circled. So it's just south outer drive. They have to figure out the interchanges, the exit and entrance. Oh, wait, wait a second. Yeah, you'd have to go up to Oakwood to get back to I-94. So maybe they could, they gotta put in, anyways, they gotta figure it out. When we're flush with cash. Well, it just so happened, this was a Friday uh, early evening and Allen Park had their arts festival going on. City of Allen Park logo, founded in 1927. Ooh, too sexy there, Lucy's Beauty Boutique. And so they have art tents and, geez, these people are showing some love for the D. Cool. And they got all the food and stuff. Lemon slush. So it's a family thing. Um, that looks like an Irish bar. You hardly see them anymore these days. Here, look at the clock. And looks like we're in sync. Got mini donuts there. Harley Davidson's are a form of art. People always style their bikes. I love... The neon sign, it wasn't lit up, but the big letters in bowling. And this is the Roosevelt Lanes, and they have 20 lanes, because that's the last one there. And, um, and bowling through the decades, here we go. That's how it was in the 80s. Wow, we, where was I? Uh, 70s, 60s, that was, yeah, that was groovy back then. Okay, so art is everywhere. Okay, there's the 2000s, the, the new millennials. Then it starts with one, so one through 20 from left to right. Here, I love, this was the way it was back in the day, the big neon letters out there. And there's the city of Allen Park. I love these aerial photographs. I'm into maps. It's just a little thing I got going. Here, Canadian football, but they got this, they say Friday night football, and oh, no, 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 no. That's what I do. High school football is going to be starting here fairly shortly. August 23rd is the first game, and I've had the name Friday night football for God, at least 15 years, so we're going to get, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be Figer time. I'm not going to mess around. Figer time. 
take care of that. Here, a nice flower display for the soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines. There you go. And the sun's about to set. I don't think I was in a perfect parking spot. So I didn't stay too long. But, uh, yeah, nice festival. And every city does seem to have their festival throughout the summer. Usually on any given weekend, you'll have to pick between two, three, or four. You'll have your favorites. Yes, on CS. All right, well, I didn't know this, but Allen Park moved their city hall and so forth. It was back around here. I think that was the police crash crime scene. But they had a municipal place, an auditorium, and, like, it's all like a field and torn down and vacant. So here's urban planning for Allen Park. What to do? Every city's got some things. You just got to let people know what they got going on. Here, well, they'll have some signs for sale or lease. So it's available. Sometimes you just got to go explore and check it out. All right. We're going to go to Drinks by Design, which is like a monthly event. Oh, before that, um, had a function in tailor that I had to go to. Look at this rubbernecking. Or maybe a it's kind of trying to hide there, but yeah, that was just a quick scene. There was a retention pond behind a shopping area and there was wildlife back there. Down the street from me, there's like Jack and the Beanstalk, like, sunflower plants, they're huge. I got to go down there and show you. Here, though, my little, I used to do the big garden thing. Now all I do is wildflowers in front of the porch, and I'm trying to get this in focus. But, oh, we're talking about volumetric analyzer, hail tracker. Holy cow. Yeah, scare the bejeebers out of you. Wow. Little sliver of a moon. I've actually started keeping the camcorder in the back seat. And sometimes when I'm in different places, I'll take video. So I'm hopping around a little bit. But check this out. 10 million Mustangs. 3,500 workers helping to build them every day. We've been to four plants across this country. How y'all doing? Workers have shown us the parts for various makes and models made in America. The glass here, where's that from? Tennessee. The door comes from Chicago. The door panel comes from Illinois. And tonight, those Mustang makers celebrating a new milestone. It's a sweet ride. Thanks for watching here on a Wednesday night. I'm David Muir. I hope to see you right back here tomorrow from all of us here. Have a good evening. Good night. Oh, yeah, watching the national news is, is cool. And that was not fake news. That was real news. And, yeah, don't listen to Donald Trump. All right, look at this is a cool sliver of a moon. I love that. But I have to check out that lunar eclipse. It's in January of 2019, so it is coming up soon. But the moon is awesome. Well, I had to go to work here. Starting time is 6 in the morning. But enough time to just do the moonshot there. I'm going to get to this drinks by design. Okay, 81 degrees. Yeah, here we go. Michigan Avenue and Schaefer. Look at this. Art, drawing, commerce. It's a very artistic building. Look at this. That might be new, that little placard, but the rest of the building is awesome. But the Arab American National Museum has a function at the junction, a drinks by design event. And uh, we're going to check inside. Which really cool. They have these drinks by design, different venue every month. 
They really put some time into it. Here was the old city hall, 1921, erected. Now it's an arts place. Yes, indeedy. How about repurposing? That's awesome. 13615 Michigan Avenue. This is where the Memorial Day Parade used to end right here. But there's the, uh, like the Muslim. Or I get them confused, but they have the temple type tops. Here east downtown, want to do a show like East Dearborn compared to Westbourne. West Dearborn. And uh, you can get here by bus. And this one's super fast, or it's actually frequent, affordable, safe transit. Thank God we passed that millage because sometimes you might need to use the bus. And this one can, will take you to the airport, which is really cool. All right, here, Michi or, uh, yeah, Michigan Historic Site, the Speed Read, tells you about Dearborn. And first few years of my life, I lived in Dearborn Heights, but for the coming of age years and whatnot, it was Dearborn. So I would be fiercely proud of Dearborn for sure, even though now I live back in Dearborn Heights. Here, but City Hall art space lofts. So retrofitted, repurposed, and made lofts. And artists are living there and doing artistic stuff, cool. There used to be like a big black cow, I thought, up on, or big black steer right up on the roof. I don't see it anymore. Maybe it's being uh, fixed or something. Nice park, and then I think I recognize the design of these artists that did this sculpture here. And just walking along Michigan Avenue, I'm going to swing back around and make it to the Arab Museum, but I'm putting uh, the whole city kind of in context here. I've always been intrigued uh, by this part of Dearborn. Here, feed your brain. But some of the buildings have nice brickwork. They're a Chinese restaurant, so there's a little diversity going on. Here, a pretty flower. And three star good burger, but then they got two stars on the bottom, so maybe it's five star. Look at the little curve, the gentle curve. Then this is a new mural. It was just put up, well, I'm thinking sometime in 2018. And. In a future show, there's like a sister mural that's just down on Schaefer and the Dearborn Recreation. An Irish bar? You've got to be kidding me. I thought they were going extinct. Ooh, I was, I've been waiting for a sign for a long time. There I go. Here are the specials. Oop, yeah. Be nice to the cook and the bartender, both of them. All right, well, I was going to hang out just for a little while longer because it looks, looks like it's raining out there, but not to worry. We'll check out the schedule. It's over for the season, but Detroit City Football Club... That was their schedule, July 24th, looks like, unless they had the playoffs. The heart and soul of Detroit soccer. And some say it's the true football, but they have spirited games. They really do enjoy themselves, and, and the fans do also. So here's East Downtown Dearborn, but there's like a West Dearborn, and uh, they should have a competition maybe see which one is hipper. They have a conference center and bike racks, so enjoy the ride. Look at that. Dearborn getting on board. So you have to create an account. 
unlock and then ride and return and lock. There's the city of Dearborn Seal. There is the website. You got all the info you can you would need. Look at the brickwork though, I love this. And even the lights, look at that. So Jazz on the Avenue tunes at noon, but it doesn't say which day. I don't know if it's every day of the week. Yeah, interesting cloud day. And some more brickwork. People took pride in their craftsmanship. Nowadays, that would cost extra if you ask for details like that. And look at this. This gets the thumbs up. Yeah, to put all this stuff in, oh yeah, that'll cost you. But what a, what a nice building. So it looks like apartments on top. So Dearborn East, my sister told me like they have two separate chamber of commerces, one for the east side and one for the west side. And so this is where you can ham sandwich. That seems pretty good, seven bucks. Um, a whole ham is 80. They're not open right now, otherwise I would have stepped inside, but it looks like they keep the place clean. And I like the bar stools and the tile. Well, there you go, 10 to 4, and that's just during the week. You can get burners. That's always nice. It's kind of like a treat. Sometimes, you know, there's sugar and pop and whatnot, and you got to everything in moderation these days. But sometimes you feel like you can treat yourself and say, okay, I'm going to do a burners. Sometimes I do that. And sometimes I'm semi-good. I have my moments. Well, more flowers. So they do things to beautify uh, this, the landscape out in front, or the streetscape. That was like an Indian restaurant, I believe. And then look at this. They have a hole in the ground. So something's going on here. We're going to build up from that. And I can't tell you what it is, but... Day two, okay. This, uh, yeah, I think a bank. Yeah, Federal Reserve with the pillars. Yeah, it's going to protect. But I don't think it's operating as a bank right now. But retrofitting banks would be awesome. You know they're built like brick shit houses. Maybe you could make a house out of a place like that. How cool would that be? So that's why you have to think out of the box and not have cookie cutter homes like I live where in my neighborhood. My neighbors to the left and my neighbor to the right and for a few houses down, they're all the same floor pa pattern. Boring, but uh, yeah, living along Michigan Avenue would be kind of cool. So they had a food truck here. This is the back side in the museum. So I'm gonna step inside here. This was the entrance desk. And they have, oh, they have a, a DJ and dancing. They have tables set up and you can interact with people and find out what they're all about and what they're doing. Here they solve problems. Uh, 
but art is everywhere, which is cool. We're going to check out the museum a little bit, but... Uh, up at the clouds it was an active early evening now inside the museum look at this is an awesome thing and, and it was a gift yeah we're gonna get some music inside here too I love the atrium or the um, the centerpiece here the tower And so they had more tables set up here. Uh, and it's like designers and architects and engineers and urban planners. It's, it's kind of fun, the synergy that's among the people. That was the um, book area, selling books. You can get the Metro Times. And then even some Arab American news, Visit Detroit. Yeah, so it's a good resource center to be sure. Well, yeah. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. Um, but, yeah, study area. And there, the old city hall. What a cool building. And it would be great to live there, actually. You know, invite friends over. Man. Now, when you're talking architecture, this is amazing. Uh, I'm having trouble because of the lighting here, but this is like the tallest building. How impressive is that thing? And Dearborn, it's a good family city. They got all sorts of things planned out, and they have the Camp Dearborn. Here, we're going to get some music. So it's North Africa. Morocco seems like a really cool place to visit. Casablanca. And of course, Egypt with the pyramids would be cool too. And then Syria, Iraq. Gosh, Iran is not part of the, at least not on this one. Okay, well, 
artwork. Then we'll see some prominent, the museum was open, which is really cool. I love the centerpiece here. I guess you can kind of call it an atrium. Well, if you're familiar with automobiles and safety, you've heard of Ralph Nader, but then uh, plenty of other dignitaries and prominent people that have left their mark. Um, so that's important for people to know. And here in Dearborn, we certainly do, but we need other people. Helen Thomas, she was one of my favorites. Uh, God, we need more people like her in uh, Washington right now. I don't know if that's like you get a passport. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was. That was weird. Um, Well, a little history here if you can speed read. It's hard for me to get this all in one shot. But the idea is to, uh, to make it to the museum and at your own leisure, walk around. Detroit had the largest uh, Arab community. I think in terms of population, Los Angeles does now. But we have like the highest concentration Maybe in L.A. it's spread out a little more. Anyways, it's top two. So. Yeah, music is cool. Anytime you can catch a live performance, uh, that works. The tile work, this is incredible. And there were other people taking uh, pictures. A lot of times, well, nowadays with your phone, you can take a picture at the drop of a hat. So, yeah, an interesting cloud day with the rain going through and the sunset and whatnot. So the roll-up truck... Still doing their thing. You can see the planes make their approach to Metro. This, I think, used to be a Kroger. But it um, seems like it does okay for business. I'll check out the Schaefer Corridor here just north of Michigan Avenue. Here are some of the businesses. I don't know if Rainbow Kids is still there. It kind of looks like they took that down. Comcast is there, Metro PCS. No cash Advance, LA Insurance. And so there's probably room, uh, certainly, for growth and whatnot. But, yeah, everything's a piece of the puzzle, so everything has to be looked at and constantly evaluated. And certainly city planners do all the time, but we need to have audience participation and everybody get involved. Because urban planning to me is as important as, you know, getting filled in on uh, the, the latest sports or the, uh, the weather or the latest entertainment news. Because if done right, urban planning can just make the uh, quality of living so much better for the whole community providing jobs good education good entertainment good roads good infrastructure you know good everything if we plan right plan accordingly and that's not to say i have the answers i'm not even going to fall for that one uh Everybody has an opinion, and what we do is we take the best, the cream of the crop, and then instigate it. Stormy Records, I don't know if that's the, the same Stormy. There's, uh, there was another one that's Stormy that's been in the news lately. Maybe she owns a record shop. But, yeah, it's interesting the... Uh, 
the entrepreneurial spirit. This Mexican place is fairly new, uh, maybe a year or two, maybe two years. Look at all the flowers they have out front. And then even the sewer grates or the water grates. They got the quadricycle thing going there. Henry Ford's first vehicle. Yeah, I'm really on that cloud kick. Oh, the insurance costs. Yeah, we need to deal with that, too. I don't know uh, if people bellyache more. I'm bellyaching a little bit about this. I don't think that should be. But we need people that are like power people to make shit like that stop happening. So if you know anybody, let them know that you're fed up and ask why. Why? Why are we paying so much? Really? The insurance thing? You know, how many people have that catastrophic thing? You know, how much does it really take to provide that fun? Look at that. I think that was a big boy restaurant. That's probably being repurposed. Here, Best Value Inn. I like the name of uh, Forts and Hotel. I don't know what rooms go for, but there's an event in East Dearborn it might be affordable a lot of small businesses I'm just fascinated I you know um, I like this logo it takes a lot of guts to, to own a small business and make a go of it this building rocks <laughs> it was a burger joint and now I don't know what's going to happen senior apartments down there so they're doing some building, but yeah, this could be so hip. Look at the bar stools here. Similar to, to Lily's, but like a wraparound counter. Oh, yes. Michigan Avenue, U.S. Highway 12. Here at the Art Deco. I think that's the styling they go with, but just gorgeous. Getting near the top of the hour, so I'd like to thank you for watching. If you stuck through any portion of this, it's like if you watch the whole thing, it's like it's an hour you'll never get back. So hopefully it was worth your while. DET.com is the uh, website. But, uh, yeah, we'll have something new next week, hopefully. There's so many things happening right now that um, in the summer, we got so many activities. And football hasn't even started the, the regular season. Oh, but industrial art. Oh, I'm doing a 360 around the Rouge plant here. Well, the Rouge Center. Look at the uh, the art. Okay, Eagle Pass is historic here, so make a right. And I'm going to, I had a hankering for a burger and some fries. And so I knew just the place. And it's right up here on the corner. The Mustang Inn, and they got the half pound ground round. And you know what? They just did the 10, um, 10, was it 10 million Mustangs? All right, 78 degrees. Last, last, last.